Hey, what's going on, y'all? So welcome back in Unreal Engine 5.1. In this video, we are going to be trying to nanite plants and grass. Yesterday, if you haven't seen it, I nanited trees. So check that out. I'll put it in the top right corner of this video here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, I am using the Divas Tree Pack, which I am not affiliated with those guys, but I do use their products quite a bit. And this is actually an HDRI, so I'll go ahead and delete that. So I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger here. And I changed this to static mesh so I can only see the static meshes in here. And what I'll do is I'll just start picking some stuff here like grass and plants that we can go ahead and nanite. That's not one of them. Right here, I believe this is grass. Yep, it sure is. So let's go to the foliage. Still can't say that word. And I'll just drag and drop that there. All right, whatever. I'll create a new folder then. New folder is okay. Save it there. And I'll drag a bunch of these guys here. Okay, so five business days later, I transferred all of that. So I have a brush here, which actually is pretty huge, Jackman. I'll click it here, and voila, we now have some nice grass looking pretty good. And what I'll do, since we did this entire row, I will just shift select nanite, enable nanite for selected. Now, I am running this on an RTX 3060, which is a $499 graphics card to just put this in perspective. Now, obviously, I don't know how much this is going to be able to take, but we're about to find out. So here it is. We have our grass nanited, and that is amazing. But we're just not going to stop there. Let's go ahead and add a bunch of them. And what I'll do also is I'll just really just try and push this as much as we can. I'll add this grass, and I really do not like this window here right now. This is really annoying, but let's work with it here. Okay, what I'll do next, and I'll just I'll just nanite them. Nanite enabled, selected, and I'll just nanite this as well because I was not able to select that. So now we have a bunch of these, and what I'll do is I'll remove it for now because I want to go ahead and repaint that new one we just did, created. Look at this right here. It looks really nice. It's running pretty smooth on this GPU, which is awesome. And we'll go to paint. I'll reduce the density a little bit, and I'll increase the brush size here. So now, let's go ahead and paint. So you can see here, we are adding these items in here. And if I get down, you're going to start seeing that. And what I'll do is, for the ground floor... I will just add, there's already a, like a ground material in here. And let's just do this material instance so that it kind of looks better. Let me get out of this foliage mode. Let's go ahead and drag and drop this into our material then. All right, so that one's good. Boom. All right, so now I have this environment with all the plants and grass. But we're going to make it denser. Because this is the magic of this. And honestly, my computer is not taking any hits at all, even doing this. But there you go. And I'm recording this as well in the same computer. That is crazy. Look at this. I, I'm just painting away here. Paint right here. Paint. Oh, I'll paint some of those mountain up there. Oh, that over there too. Oh, look at this. This is what I call art. We are just painting everywhere. And I also want to add a feature content pack in third person so we can kind of walk around this area so you can see it. Okay, and I'll close that. Let's paint some more. I, mean, I can paint all day. Look at that. This is really cool. Now, if we look at our visualization, that's crazy, man. That is so cool. Make this smaller. And let me go ahead and go get my world settings here. Because what I want is I want to change it to that third person game mode and I press play. Here is our nanited grass. It's actually still preparing. But wow. And again, this is still in experimental. 
It's currently in 5.1. And just for fun, I'm just going to keep painting just to see how much we can get away with it here. All right. So there's some botches right there, right there, right there, right there. This is bananas, man. Just can you imagine like open world games now. I'll turn up the density a little bit to like point, uh, point 0.5. So what's next? They're going to have to nanite meta humans, right? That's obviously the next step because they did trees and plants and grass and static mesh. All right, nanite buffer <laughs> overload. Oh, gosh. Oh, I guess. Uh, let me turn on my FPS here. Now, yeah, this is a 3060. This is not a really expensive card at all. But what I'm going to do is, man, I eventually I'm going to try and create some environments because that's what I'm trying to get into right now. Like meta humans are great, characters are good, but I need to learn how to create. But at the same time, I want to learn how to create photorealistic environments too. Right? So let's go get our triangles. Then I'd viz triangles. And here we go. It's beautiful. But yeah, that's it. We are getting that error, but it's okay. We are just using a 3060 right now. And this is nanite. Plants and grass. Those look so freaking good. I can see those for days. Look at this. Crazy. I'm getting about 40 frames per second right now on my 3060. Wow. What do y'all think? Y'all stoked about this? I crazy. I mean, I pretty excited about this technology. Just like I was excited with Nanite last year. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, with that being said, if you want to see more Unreal Engine 5 videos, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I am trying to get 100,000 subscribers this year. That's my goal. If not, I don't know. I'll just go work at grocery store again or something. Peace out.